I'm gonna tickle, tickle, tickle. I'm gonna tickle, tickle you. You're gonna giggle, giggle, giggle. You're gonna giggle. Hey guys, what's going on? Chad here, and I'm bringing you guys another episode of Chad's Top 10. And I'm actually going to be splitting this episode into two different parts, um, because I'm going to be talking about my top 10 favorite and least favorite things about college. Keep in mind that this is all from my own personal point of view, as I really don't know what happens at other colleges, um, but I can just kind of assume that, it, that some of this stuff happens elsewhere. Um, I hope to have both of these episodes up, like one right after the other, if everything goes well. Um, but, you know, if not, just know that I'm going to be uploading the second episode very soon. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, to kick off this episode of Chad's favorite things about college, coming in at number 10 is just the fact that we have more freedom in college than, say, like a high school student or a middle school student, because when you're not in class, you can pretty much go anywhere you want to. I mean, you can walk around on campus, meet new people, hang out with people. Um, you can leave campus, get a bite to eat before class, you know, do whatever you want. And uh, it's pretty nice. You know, you get to meet new people, meet new friends, and uh, hang out. Coming in at number nine, we have lenient teachers because in high school, I've always noticed that a lot of my teachers were really strict. And in college, it doesn't seem that way because a lot of my teachers have told us, like, you know, if you're going to be late, just come on in. Just don't make a lot of noise when you come in. Um, one of my teachers said that he totally understands, you know, sometimes people run late, something happens. Um, it seems like the teachers are a little bit more understanding in college. And they kind of expect everybody to act like adults about everything, which is something I really like. And in high school, I had teachers that would, like, slam the door right in your face if you were even a minute late. So, you know, college teachers are a lot more lenient, I think, in my opinion, than high school teachers. Coming in at number eight, there's actually a lot of food on campus, which is something I really like. If I don't have a class right away, I can just go to the student center and get a bite to eat. You know, I don't have to leave campus and go too far and then be late for my next class. Student Center is like right in the middle of campus, so it's easily reached by anywhere pretty much. And uh, basically it's like a giant cafeteria with a bunch of different restaurants, so you can always kind of have something new each day, which is pretty nice. Number seven is something that I really wished that we could have had in high school. And it's just the fact that you can actually pick classes based on your major because I feel like in high school, you know, all these random classes, you know, stuff we'll never ever use again, like a lot of the math, social studies, all this stuff we'll never use again gets forcefully shoved down our throats. And in college, you can basically pick your own classes based on your major. So you can, you can basically just take classes that relate to you which is something that is absolutely freaking amazing, and I wish that they would have let us do this in high school. Number six is also kind of related to number seven, and it's just the fact that we have so fewer classes in college than we do in like high school or middle school. Um, on my schedule right now, I only have four classes, but the way it's set up is I only have to go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, instead of having to go like Friday. Last semester was even better because I only had to go through Wednesday. And I also, like, most of my classes I only meet two times a week. And, you know, like in high school you go to each class every single day. Well, I only go to my classes two times a week. So that's pretty freaking awesome. Alright guys, we're finally at the top five. And coming in at number five is the fact that there's campus police like everywhere. I really like that because it gives you the feeling of safety, I guess. Um, you know, it's a crazy world out there. We have school shootings all the time. And uh, just having those police officers there, you know, it really helps, I guess, your peace of mind. So you don't really have to worry about something terrible happening. Uh, because even if there is something that happens, you know, there's police everywhere, so the likelihood of something terrible happening is very low, at least in my opinion. 
Number four is kind of going back to the schedule again. And basically at the beginning of the semester when you're choosing classes, you can you have the choice between choosing like a traditional class, a online class, and a hybrid class. And basically what a traditional class means is that you meet every single day in the classroom. Online classes mean that the class is online, you take it on the computer, and uh, basically you can just stay home. Um, except for the final exams, I think for all exams you actually have to come to campus. Um, and then hybrid classes are kind of a mix between the two. Um, which Hybrid classes are what I'm taking now, um, where we do have to meet, but it's not every single day. And then most of the work is done online. So I prefer hybrid classes because you do get the feel of like actually having a teacher there and you know if you need help or something the teachers there to help you but then all the works online so you can kind of work at your own pace which is something I very much like number three is something I think everybody would like I mean why wouldn't you getting out before like all the kids from high school and middle school I mean I get out at like I don't even know like 11 something on most days and then um, on Tuesdays, Tuesday's kind of my bad day because, like, I have a class at 12.30 till, like, 1.45, and then I have to go back for night school at, like, 6.30 to 7.45. But other than Tuesday, every single day I get out extremely early, and I have my whole day to do homework and relax, unless I have to work or something, but I just like getting r out really early. <laughs> Who doesn't? Number two is something that is very important to all college students when they're struggling, and that is the fact that there is free tutoring on campus. So you don't have to go any to any of these tutoring companies. Um, you don't have to pay a tutor or anything like that. Totally free, and uh, they are always willing to help you if you are struggling. And uh, it's very nice because, I mean, who wants to fail in college? Alright guys, we're finally here. My number one favorite thing about college, or at least my college, is just the fact that the classroom sizes are very small. You know, if you go to these universities, the classroom sizes, there's like a hundred people, um, and I just find that very distracting. And because my college is a community college, my classroom sizes are very, very small. I maybe have like 20 people in each class. And as I said, I just find that really easy to focus on what I'm doing. I don't have all the outside distractions, and I just find that very nice. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, that was my top 10 favorite things about college. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like, favorite, subscribe, comment, and uh, stay tuned for the second episode. And toodles.